Good evening. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. So it's a pleasure to be with you. Today is Friday, so tomorrow we're going to rest, at least for the English classes. And, um, well, the first uh, thing that we are going to check is about the platform. So uh, let me just check something very quickly here. And let's see. Okay. Yeah. Adriana is not here. She's missing on the meet on test. And Alejandra, Michelle. Let's see who else is. Maria Elena also not yet on that one. Maybe we're going to check whenever. They come to the class. Uh, Susan Hernandez still missing on the meet on test. And this unit number two. So it's very important for you to finish tonight. Okay, teacher. Very good. Okay. Very well. For the rest, everything is fine. Okay. So, teacher. Hello. I, I, I have um in in two point uh, I don't know uh, it's a uh, uh, missing. <laughs> uh, which exercise? Uh huh. In yeah, maybe maybe maybe. Yeah. It's a exercise uh, unit two in uh, uh -huh. doc, uh, two point one and two point two. <laughs> okay, two point two because two point one is uh -huh. uh, um maybe I mean. For, uh, two point one is not a homework. It's just a. a uh, bit of with, uh, maybe maybe maybe. Yes, it's a, uh, two point. It's a part. Uh, the complete. Uh, the the chemist, the sentences. I don't know, teacher. Okay. It's a, <laughs> All, all the bad, <laughs> all bad. Okay, uh, yes. Uh, estas son unas que ya habíamos visto un par de veces antes, entonces hay que eh, tener cuidado con un par de cosas. Por ejemplo, número uno, si usted se fija, tiene que decir, I want you to make your bed, period. If you don't put the period, it's not going to be correct. So I want you to make your bed. Ah, I, want. Mm -hmm. I want you to make your bed. I want. Mm -hmm. On the second one, did you ask, and this is an error, so it's going to be Jimmy, not Jim, but Jimmy. So did you ask Jimmy mm -hmm. to take the dog for a walk? Question mark. That is a very important question mark. Okay, it's a, a review in in after the class. Ah, uh, yeah. But let me tell you all of those. Uh, if you 
still enter that one and you are not able to have that correct, you can watch the videos. In the videos, we check this exercise. So in this one, it says, for example, we don't allow our children to eat sweets before meal time, period. Okay. The other one, the police officer ordered in past, ordered me to move my car immediately, period. That is very important. Ah, uh, okay. And the other one says, I advise you not to, okay, I advise you not to interrupt Malcolm during the meeting period. He gets very, gets with S yeah. of course. He gets very upset when people do that period again. Okay. Okay. Teacher, okay. could you repeat the last? This one. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, it's going to be, I advise you not to interrupt Malcolm during the next meeting period. He gets with S of course, uh, very upset when people do that period. Yeah. Okay. And the other one that sometimes cause some problem is the 2.5, okay? So uh -huh. let's check that, okay? Uh, the main reason people believe they mm -hmm. are poor presenters is because they have allowed negative thoughts to grow until creating a negative image of themselves period okay so here we have to enter the whole sentence not only the, the answer okay or the missing second one it says an effective thought to get rid of stage fright is for presenters to tell themselves to focus on the audience and not on their fear period. Okay. Next one says specialists in plural advise presenters to design visually engaging presentations to avoid boring the audience, period. Next one is public speaking coaches invite presenters to open their presentation with a thought dash provoking question, period. And the last one says, the bus wants us to go over the organization checklist to make sure everything is ready for tomorrow's, with a apostrophe, presentation period. That would be it. Okay, okay, any, good. Any other question with the platform, anybody? And now teacher, is this a problem? Uh, but it's a, a next, the class, I, re, I review the video. Okay, very good. Okay, thank you, teacher. It's a pleasure. Okay, so I was telling uh, some of you, let me see if uh, other people are here. Hold on a second. Okay. Okay, Alejandra, Michelle, uh, you are missing the homework, the unit number two, 
and also the midterm test. It's very important for you to finish that today, okay? Uh, who else is here? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Yes, missing. Maria Elena Guadalupe also. Uh, it's important for you to, to finish that one. I mean, uh, the unit two is still pending some parts and also the, the midterm test. Okay, and the other people I told already. Okay, very good. All right, we're going to check about the attendance, of course. Let me check here. Okay. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Alejandra Michelle Hueso Najera. Present teacher. Good. Ana Selmi Chavez. Present teacher. Good. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Maybe Coromoto García de Calderón. Manuel Antonio Palma. María Elena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. Mario Ernesto Villeda. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present. Perfecto. Silvia Zuleima Rodríguez de González. Present. Good. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present. Good. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present teacher. Good. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta Ochoa. Present. Good. Nice. So, today we had homeworks, right? Very good. I believe that's the reason why some people are not here. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> So, anyways, the ones we are here, it's good because we're going to practice a lot. So, uh, we're going to start with the three words or two words. Two or three is fine. Or if you have more, it's also fine, okay? So, the question is, who wants to be the first one to present the words? Nobody. Okay, very good. Let's listen to Wendy. I tried um the first word is cool. Clues is equal length. Okay. For example, the investigator follows new clues. Clues, very good, nice. Uh, other other word is great great um equal influence okay. for example the friends great with people very good and other other uh, the last uh, oh, sorry um other word handle handle is equal journal okay and i'm i must read the handle handle of my work okay very good perfect thank you very much very interesting handout that is a very good one Okay, who wants to be the next one? Me, teacher. Good. Let's listen to Anna Selmi. 
Okay, my new words are uh, the first achieve. Achieve is a verb. It means is all the synonyms are accomplish, get, reach, obtain, carry out, realize. Good. Achieve. Uh, the other word is outcome. It's a substantive no, or noun. No, no. And the means is result, effect, consequence, sequence, or accomplishment. Uh, overcome. In the yes. outcome, sorry, outcome. In the other word is framework. Good. Framework, framework is a noun. It means is a um, frame, see it, mark, a structure, system, method. Okay. Framework. Framework. Perfect. Very good. Thank you very much, Anselmi. Uh, I can see here Thank that Susana you. Beatriz will be the same the next time. So. Okay. Um, where is it? It's a covering in, on contain too much uh, fat or oily. Uh, okay. Example, she has much gracie in your face. Uh, second word is a peacock. Peacock. Uh, a peacock. Peacock. A uh, large beer and the male of wish. A very long tail feather that it can spill out to show, bring color and partner sharper like ace. Uh, for example, the pickup is bear is beer, Guatemala national. Okay. Very good, perfect. Thank you very much, Sana. Now, who wants to be the next one? Ah, Carla, very good, Carla Vasquez. Uh, hi, teacher. My three words are a uh, bespoke. It sounds like a combination between B and a spoke. It's actually reference to something that was personalized. For example, his room is big folk. Big folk. Okay. The next word is doodle. The word refers to tasks that is too easy to do. Even a baby could do it. Example, uh, that job is doodle. Next word is talk a block. It's an adjective that refers to a place or a space being very full or busy. Example, this place is Chocabro. Very good, very interesting. Yeah, the last one is something very interesting, Chocabro. Nice, nice. Who wants to be the next one? Me teacher. Good, good, Rosalina. Okay. Let me write in words. Okay. okay, in the chat are the words that I'm going to. Okay. Rapport, bloated, widely. Okay, the first one, rapport. Rapport is a noun. Uh, in, in, it means a good understanding of someone an ability to communicate well with them. An example, she's an excellent rapport with his, she has an excellent rapport with her staff. And the other is bloated, it's 
Because of containing too much air, liquid, or food. Um, an example a bloated, bloated stomach. And the last one is wiring. It's an adverb. Including a lot of different places, people, or subjects. Um, another meaning is to be very different. For example, um, Prices vary widely from shop to shop. Very good. Thank you very much. Interesting words. Nice. <laughs> All right. Who wants to be the next one? A few people still missing. Okay. What about Susana Hernandez? Not possible. What about Walter Mauricio Morales? I had a question. Uh -huh. If the activity is a, a different word, uh, the, the class uh, yesterday. It could be no. words from the class or different words. Any word that you want to present. Two or three words. Any uh, word. Uh, I don't understand. Is a, a, an, a, I understand is a presentation of the the anywhere uh, anywhere topics. Yes, that is the second homework. There are two homeworks. Ah, okay. I prepare a second. <laughs> okay. Excuse me. Okay. Excuse. Me. Ah, no words. So you don't have any words. Okay. Okay, that is fine. No worries. All right. Uh, let's check about Silvia Suleima. What about you? Not possible. Mario Villeda. Not possible. Alejandra Michelle. No yet word teacher. Okay, very good, perfect, no worries. Thanks. Okay, so I guess we're done with the with the words, right? Uh, so we're going to check about the presentations and see how it goes. Um, who wants to be the first to do the presentation? Teacher, I have a word. Ah, perfect, word. perfect. Please, please tell us the words. Yeah. Uh, uncertain, un uncertain. Um, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Uncertainly. Uh -huh, uncertain. Can uh -huh. be defined as a lack of evidence that is the absence of certain certainty or knowledge about what will happen in a given situation. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, very good. Perfect. Thank you very much. So, yeah, let's check then about the presentation. Who wants to start with the presentation? I really want to see this. Very good. Let's check with Walter then. Okay. Uh, the topic that uh, I am going to expose uh, is business name. And who can we observe in the world must concrete manage to obtain a good amount of financial income through a small or large business name. Is we analyzing or so on this, we lie in the business name a uh, sixty percent uh, of the production 
a survival in this way. Uh, in the moment, a uh, a picture. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Okay. Uh, the picture is a uh, a balloon in which should graph it. Um, where are the percentage beside of the Spanish? The co uh, the companies, as we can see, we had a micro empresa teacher, excuse me. Uh, you can say very small businesses. Okay, very small business. Okay, uh, medium, a Saiten company and large company. As we can see, and sixty two percent uh, are autonomous, which are a uh, talent on companies. But now it's a business. Uh, autonomous. Autonomous is uh we can see the big the picture. Uh, it will it will be the persons is a uh, a uh, a world the peoples and we had a a, a business and. Another, another, another supply uh, in order the in order to be a successful in business is a necessary and I to have a skill in the who and prepare a business name, the plan and either in the presentation is a product or in customer service. Yeah. And in other class, and we can see uh, is a prepare a uh, uh, and who elaborator at uh, the business, the different objectives. Is a, uh, in life is a uh, really, uh the the world the world peoples and and they live the the business name is the important uh uh i can uh, i can see a a, a elaborator uh, a business name I prepare a, a good a good presentation for for different reasons and is the the how do you say teacher uh, in, in the majority of the, the in the most of places or companies. This is so sobre you. Okay. Excuse me. Yeah, th there was no connection on the voice, but now we can hear you. Uh, okay, okay. High connection. Yes. Yeah. Can you hear? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, okay. I can hear. Okay, it's a, a, a topic teacher. It's the finish. Oh, very well. Perfect. Very good. So anybody has a question for Walter about the size of Spanish uh, companies? Not at all. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Walter, for the presentation. It was interesting. Okay, teacher. Good.
Great, thank you. So, who wants to be the next one? I want to know. Me, teacher. Very good. Let's listen to Wendy. Uh, I, I try chair. chair. Oh, of course. Sure. And I, I, I did. Um, if I know share, uh, sharing in in your WhatsApp. Uh, you can share it here in the in the chat of the uh, of Zoom, so I can open. You can share yeah. Yeah. the link. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. I try. Of course. Uh, if you are going uh... to try to share at the bottom, there is an option that says share screen. You just click there. And it's going to ask you sometimes for permissions or something like that. And then you will be able to move on. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Okay, um, in the what in share? Yeah, there is an option that there is this. Uh -huh. uh, okay, okay. Soon. I don't know. Oh, here it comes. Very good. Yes? Yes, we can see. Okay. <laughs> see my my See my photograph. Yeah, we can see your picture. Oh, yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. okay. My my father once arrived uh no a night in a cabin in Calcutta restaurant. Went my father, my mother, my uncle and I. We arrived at five p.m. <laughs> M eight M eight chocolate and pupusa. Mm -hmm. We sleep in a ca in a cabin. The cabin was very pretty place, but it was very cold all night. In the cabin next to our cabin was a couple. Who took a, took a lot of that? A lot of, of that at night. For for that, I sleep later. I slept later. In the morning, eight eight um break breakfast. Uh, coffee and, and break. In the place, there were many plants and flowers. We went to walk in a in found an emptiness. We keep it a souvenir. I swim. I swim on a como and we. Many photos. For for the lunch, a roast beef and roast chicken. And finally, for the the afternoon, we drank coffee and ate sweet bread. Okay, teach. 
Okay, very interesting. Very good. I believe that I know that place. Uh, is that uh, on the way from Santa Ana to Sonsonate or something like that? It's, I don't know. Los Naranjos? <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah, I know the place. It's a very good place. A lot of flowers there, right? And the food is a very good one. Uh, anybody has a question for Wendy? No question. She already she already answered my question. Okay. Where what is what is the place? <laughs> yeah, it's a Caltepec. nice place, you know. Uh, yeah, there are a lot of flowers and chairs, and the food is is very good. So it's it's a nice place. It's a nice place. So. Here nearby, you know, I, I'm from Santa Ana. On that way, and yes. also in some other ways. Also, oh, the weather, I imagine that is uh, nice. <laughs> yeah, I was going to tell you that one. Whenever you want to come, we can do a trip in English. I mean, uh, we can get together and go and eat something and, and speak in English all the trip. Uh, and we can enjoy the the places, the flowers, if you want to do that one sometime, of course, I can help you. I can wait for you here and we can go there. So there or any other places. So there are very good places here. Or the lake. Sometimes we can go to the lake in Guarepeque and we'll see the island that is no longer from Christiani, of course. And uh, we can, uh, I mean, there are many places. And or we can go to other places. Um, I always wanted to do something like that with some people that they really want to speak English, like a conversation club. But uh, like to go to trips and, and enjoy, you know, that would be something amazing. So I'm planning to do something like that. Good, good. Uh, thank you, Wendy. Who wants to be the next one? Me, teacher. Okay, very good. Let's check with Ansel. Uh, good evening. Good evening. Teacher, good evening, classmates. Thank you for for your attention, for my presentation. Uh, it's about me. Uh, myself introduced. Uh, my slogan is: I believe that while there is life, there is an opportunity to learn and to improve. This is my personal slogan. And I want to share with you. My name is Anaceli Cheve Reynosa. I was born in San Salvador. I am twin. I live in Ciudad Merlio, Santa Tecla, um, there 18 years ago. Uh, my occupation, I am auditor for 22 years ago. Uh, I work in K at KPNG. Uh, it's an international fair of auditor. Uh, um, it's international fair for audit, uh, advice, and tax services. Uh, my key facts: I am honest, sincere, and I like to continuously learn and share knowledge. I like to put myself continuous challenges, challenges of, um, in my life. I am an organized and friendly person. My, my main treasure, the Tesoro teacher, treasure. Pressure. Pressure. My main treasure is my family. I have been married for 18 years ago. I have a son 14 years, complicated age. I am woman pro, proud of my parents. They, are, they, were, they were humble people. Uh, with a great values and faith uh, to face to challenges of the life. Now, my parents, uh, they are my angels. 
and I always have them present in everything. Everything. My reference women in my life are my mom and my sisters. Actually, I am teacher in three universities in, San, in El Salvador uh, for 19 years ago. I love teaching and learning. At the present time, I am studying at the university too uh, because I am studying the other, uh, the other degree. Um, 20 years, 22 years ago, I graduated in business administrator and 12 years ago in master of finance, specialist of finance. I am crazy for this study teacher. I accept. I accept. My hobbies are uh, running. I, I like to run because this is my time for reflection. I I love it because during the the road, my my mind is processing different topic. For me, it's relaxing. Not running for career, running or walking. <laughs> <laughs> Combined. Um, I like to go to the cinema, the environment for the cinema. I enjoy that experiences. Um, I like to read the story of tales, little tales. I love it. I love it. And I love to watch Korean series. I need to confess. This is, how do you say pecado, teacher? Say Actually, I was going to say that one. You can say that it's a guilty pleasure. Yes, this is my guilty pleasure. Yeah. My favorite food, I love to eat pupusas. For me, I don't have problem to eat pupusas in, in the breakfast, the lunch. For me, it's okay. I love it. The pupusas. I love the I love to eat a Mexican food and pasta. Thank you for your attention and for you permit my you permit to share my part of my life. Thank you. Very good, perfect. Thank you. Anybody has a question for Anna Salmi? Okay, you are a very busy person, but that is very good. You know, that's the way I am as well. I try to to do a lot of things. And it's nice. And also, I I really understand you because I really like to read and understand things. I read about the universe, the black holes and the white holes, and about the deep ocean and about many things. To know uh, is something amazing. And when you know how to do things and you enjoy your job, it's also very good, right? And teaching is amazing. Yeah, I, I, I guess I told you before that it's, it's very nice to be here every night with you. So it's pretty good. Perfect. Thank you, Anasami. Uh, anybody else wants to be the next? I know that you know. I know that you want. Uh -huh. Nobody wants to be the next. <laughs> Aye, okay. Everybody wants to be the next. Good. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tell me, let me share something. Okay. Okay, can you see? It? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, let me do something to that. Okay. Okay. Good night. Good evening, so good evening, everybody. And thank you for being here. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to try to to speak about uh, 
artificial intelligence, mm -hmm. IIA. It's so difficult for me the, 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 the word IA, IA. <laughs> yeah, IA. Okay. Okay. I'm going to start. Uh, I'm going to start telling. Uh, oh my God. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. I'm going to start. Uh, okay. I'm going to start telling you the artificial intelligence, machine learning, data, data science are popular terms in this era. I'm knowing what it is and its value in the coming years are crucial than ever. All the Hollywood movies tend to exaggerate for dramatic effects, such as the Terminator movie, where killer robots from Skynet were sentient and start destroying humans. There's still some truth in these movies. There are experts in the field today who feel a super intelligent IA who will outsmart us and eventually decide to wipe us off the face of the earth. On the other side of the first spectrum, IA is depicted as a miracle invention, the intelligent machine that can perform analytical tasks such as simulations and predictions much better than humans. In the movies, you see IA as a helper to human, assisting, assisting us in all kinds of tasks, from being, from being a psychic on a space adventure to a lover. I made this introduction because uh, I was I was sick looking for this that kind of information. And uh, yesterday I watched a movie. Uh, the movie name is Hair. It's a movie uh, uh, from 2013. Yeah, the main actor is the winner Oscar, uh, Joaquin Phoenix. And the voice of the hair is uh, Scarlett Johansson. And you can see this movie on Netflix. Okay. Hair is about a man falling in love with an artificially intelligent operating system. We see virtual assistants today in our smartphones, but the technology is not as sophisticated as Samantha, the smart OS, OS in her. Voice assistants like Siri and Google are only able to do simple tasks, such as setting an alarm or texting a friend. But Samantha is an impressive conversationalist with an amazing common of language, common sense, emotion, and is able to handle complex tasks such as filtering emails and downloading millions of proof in a split of a text. A highly advanced operating system like her is able to learn through experience and evolve something that is not achievable with the level of technology we have today. This film gives a glimpse of how voice assistance will be like in the future and how we can even fall in love with them. Imagine <laughs> falling in love with your assistant. <laughs> That's movie it's a crazy I think but I don't know, maybe in the, in the future, we can fall in love with my boy assistants. <laughs> it's very interesting. Okay. How artificial intelligence is revolution, revolutionizing the world. Artificial intelligence, IA, has become a major force in the world today transforming many aspects of our lives, from healthcare to transportation. IA is revolutionizing the way we live and work. In this presentation, we explore how IA is revolutionizing the world and what it means for the future. 
IA in healthcare. IA is transforming healthcare in a number of ways. IA powered medical imaging systems are helping doctors diagnose disease more accurately and quickly. IA based chatbots providing patients with personalized health advice and support. And IA's power robots are assisting surgeons with complex procedures. All these advances are making healthcare more efficient and accessible, improving patient outcomes and saving lives. IA in transportation. IA is also revolutionizing transportation. Self-driving cars use advanced IA algorithms to navigate roads safely and efficiently, while autonomous drones are being used to deliver package quickly and accurately. IA-powered traffic management systems are helping cities reduce congestion and improve safety, while smart transportation networks are making it easier for people to get around without relying on traditional models of transport. And the last one, uh, IA in business. Finally, IA is transforming the business world as well. Companies are using IA to automate mundane tasks, freeing up employees to focus on more creative endeavors. IA driving analytic tools are helping businesses make better decisions faster by analyzing large amounts of data quickly and accurately. And IA powered customer service systems are providing customers with faster, more penalty personalized service experience. The possibilities for IA are truly endless and its potential to revolutionize the world only just beginning to be realized. Technology continues to advance, we can expect to see even more applications of IA that will further transform our lives for the better. It calls my attention because I was looking for one this time. It's a chatbot uh, from Bianca. Oh my God, it's a robot, it's a computer robot. I hate it because you can interrupt it because they have uh, established but the questions you can you can modify your question. You you have to you have to ask the question that the program has uh, inside the program. And sometimes we need to. Oh my God! We need to. Uh, we need to use to uh, this application, but. Maybe in the future, <laughs> uh, they will be more friendly because nowadays I think that the human being, the human being is resistant to, to interact with, with, with uh, this kind of application. There are some, some friendly applications, but uh, there are in, uh, others that mm -mm, I don't like. It. Uh, it's, it's not the same. It's not the same to, to talk with a real person, but I don't know, in the future, many things can change. Okay, that's it. Very good, very nice. Anybody has a question for Rosa Elena? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a very interesting topic. It's something that we can not only analyze, but also debate, right? Because there are many things, I mean, I know, for example, that there is a company that is already working uh, for a chip that they are going to introduce in your brain. So you can manage things with your brain. So 
we are very close to do something like that. Yeah, imagine it's true. All the things that we are we see in the movie one day, maybe consider not that the problem kills people, or maybe I don't know, <laughs> but uh, the technology, maybe oh. the chips, yeah, why not? There are yeah. a lot of movies talking about this topic. And, wow. and another another movie is Minority Report. Ah, uh, yeah. Another play. There are a lot of movies about talking about artificial intelligence. And maybe one day, imagine. Yeah, definitely. I, I believe, I truly believe that that is going to happen. Uh, what I don't know, or what nobody knows, is, is if it's actually machines are going to one day cause damage to humanity in one way or the other one. So that is the debate. Do we impose that one and maybe we're going to lose humanity? Uh, for example, uh, another example on that one is Wally, that is an animated movie. So they were in space, anything, but they didn't do anything. All machines, they did yeah. everything. All the, all the people were fat because everybody is fit and lying in the bed, in the sofa. And all the robots are making all the things, and you are laying, oh, very, <laughs> and you get fat. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing because that maybe the machines. Like... Exactly, maybe the machines they are not going to attack, but there is going to be a consequence, uh, depending yeah. on many things. Uh, I mean, that movie that you were speaking about here, I saw the movie, and it's very interesting because uh, in the world, a lot of people is alone, loneliness. It's a problem. Yes. yes. Okay. And uh, machine learning, what they do is that the same as, for example, Facebook, you click in rabbits and they are going to show you a lot of rabbits or cats. The same happens with this kind of uh, operating system, that they are going to tell you what you want to hear. So, yeah, maybe, I believe. I think that this, this kind of, of a system maybe uh, say lives many people is going is killing killing themselves because they feel alone maybe this kind of uh, operating system help to to save lives to, to 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 those people that feel alone i don't know <laughs> that is that is true i mean it's happening already you see that there are people that they get married with toys, right? Or with animals or with themselves. It's because they're lonely. They, I mean, they want something so bad that they do some crazy things, right? Uh, so if they do that one, of course, if they have a machine that is telling you, you are amazing, you are this and the other thing. I mean, and if it's the beautiful voice of a man or a woman, it's easier, right? So, yeah, I believe that that, and that is going to happen, definitely. Maybe it's happening already, I don't know. Uh, we don't know what is going to happen in the future with artificial intelligence. Uh, I guess that we are going to be able to see part of it. So let's see, right? I, I'm i looking forward to, to do that one. So very good topic, uh, very nice. Thank you, Rose. Okay, who wants to be the next one? Me, teacher. Good, Carla. Okay. Uh, good evening. Uh, mm -hmm. I talked to about uh, climate change. Uh, what is the climate change and what are the, the causes and consequences? The study of the climate is a complex and rapidly involving field of research due to a large number of factors involved. Earth's climate has never been static because of alteration is the energy balance. It is subject to variation on all time scales from decades to thousands and millions of the years. The climate change is the name given to the global, global variation in the Earth's climate. It is due to natural cause and to the action of men and and they occur at very different time scale on all climate parameters, temperature, 
rainfalls, coldness, etc. The term greenhouse effect refers to the retention of the heat for sun in the Earth's atmosphere by a layers of gases in the atmosphere without then life as we know it will not be possible since the planet will be too cold. Among the gases are carbon dioxide, nitrous oxide, and the methane, with the real with are realized by industry, agriculture, and the burning of the fossil fuels. The industries the industrialized world has achieved that the concentration of the gases has increased by 30% since the last century, when without human action, not natural oversight balancing emission. There is currently an almost general, generalized sign consensus around the idea that our ways of producing and consuming energy is a generating a global climate and alteration, which will cause in turn serious impact both on the air and on socioeconomic system. The climatization effect use all the potential impact in enormous with prediction of a lack, lack of potable water. Major change is in condition for food production and increase the rates due to flow, store growth, and the hot weather. The climate change is already a reality that is expressed throughout the planet, throughout they rise in a beverage tem temperature, they rise in a sea level, the melting of ice in the Arctic, or the increase in the extreme events. Heat waves, food store, and water stress are the threats due to climatic change that are mostly declared by the series themselves not necessarily necessarily the most relevant according to, to scientific projection. How can the problem of climate change be solved? There are some of them to of the line, replace all light bull with lead or energy saving bulls, disconnect Electronic, uh, electronic devices, choose a television or computer when you are not using them, reduce waste, avoid the bathroom, reduce the meat consumption, buy local and seasonal product. We have to work to be aware and contribute a little bit of our health taking care of the water not contaminate the land, protecting the forest, planting a tree. And this is uh, important that we are aware of this problem. Okay, hey, very good, very important topic. So anybody has a question for Carla? No questions. Yeah, this topic's very important. So uh, what do you believe, Carla, we can do so we can help in this matter, uh, climate change? It's very important to contribute to this topic. In my case, I try to help a little to save the water and turn off the light, for example, inclusive don't use many bow plastic. It's better to use a, um, a topper t-shirt, how do you say, so, topper? Uh, yeah, uh, topper, that's English. Ah, uh, topper, it, ah, okay, okay. Uh, it's, it, it's better to use topper and not 
plastic bags, for example. Or if, if you use plastic bag, uh, recycle. Recycle. It's important, recycle, it's important recycle the bag. Okay. Yeah, there are many things that we can do. And it's very dangerous where we're going to go. I mean, I was reading, for example, I mean, I, I have you, I don't know if you have filled the the hot in these days. Oh um, yes. April was, um, I mean, uh, well, yes. in the office, you never know, right? But when you are Saturdays or Sundays at home, it's like, my goodness, this is hot, right? And it uh, is, is the one effect to the change of climate, for example, is very, it is very interesting that this year, just this year, uh, the rain is very little. It is, it's, it's little. It's little in, in, in comparison to the last year, for example. In the hot is high, too. Yeah, actually, that's what I was going to tell you. Uh, I was reading that. The the you know there are two uh, climate phenomena that happens uh, in the world. We have uh, La Nina and we have the Nino, right? Yeah. And they call it like that in English as well. So, and uh, when we have La Nina, it rains and everything is normal. When we have El Nino, it doesn't rain and it's very hot. Next year, we're going to have El Nino. So next year, they expect that is the most, the hardest year in the history of humanity. So we need to be ready next year. If this year was very hard, next year they believe, they believe that people will die because of the heart. In my endowment, because remember that maybe, yeah, we go, uh, I mean, we're in the office and we go home and we have a fan, but there are people on the streets that they won't be able to cover themselves from hot, right? And if there is no water and it's very hot, they they believe that the next year is going to be worse. And it's, yeah. I mean, that is right now, what is going to happen in, next, in the next 10 years, in the next 20 years? Uh, yeah, it's, it's... It's very complicated, teacher, because when you pass more time in your office, you you do use the air conditioner uh, but this uh, may that you use more electrician uh, is is complicated because always you affect the 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 climate too yeah so yeah it's a big a big problem because Companies, they don't stop, right? They continue producing, uh, they continue building a lot of concrete on the on the street. The forests are disappearing. I mean, money is more important than other things sometimes. So, and we, we cannot do anything. I mean, the governments, they permit this. I mean, it, it's, it's hard, it's hard. Mm. So we only expect for the better, you know what I'm gonna do in my house is I'm going to put some solar panels on the on the roof and also to put something to get some water. We never know what's going to happen. So let's be ready for for another change on the world. Teacher, um, some companies are avoiding travel to avoid env environmental pollution and avoid the, the, the gases emitted by the planes is very option because now it is more easy to connect to another person by online. For example, it's not necessary to use a plane for to go to another, go to a some meeting, for example. Okay, so yeah, that is true. Um, in Europe, a lot of things are happening. For example, I was reading that in France uh, for this summer, it's prohibited to have pools or to uh, water the plants. You cannot do that. 
because water is not enough for everybody because of the heart, right? So, yeah, things are going to change again. So let's see what happens. Very good topic. Thank you, Carla. Okay, who wants to be the next one? Uh -huh. Me, teacher. <laughs> good, Susana Beatriz. Very good. Let's listen to Susie. Okay. 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 Uh, stress and your health. Um, it's a topic or, or topic is a, it's a regular in in actuality. Uh, and maybe a uh, concept agenda is a concept um is a consideration is a sign of too much stress. And concept. Stress is a feeling, is some emotional or physical tension. It can come from any event of trauma that make you feel frustrated, angry, eh, angry eh, or nervous. Stress in your body. A reaction to challenge of demand in short bursts. A stress can be positive and surge and went and help you avoid a danger or met a dearly. Um, but when stress lasts from a long time, it may harm uh, your health. In Consideration. Uh, stress is normal, feel. Uh, there are two main uh, types of stress. Acute stress. Um, is acute stress is dear is short term. Uh, stress that go, uh, goes uh, away quickly. You feel it when you slam on the brake. Uh, have a feel wheel. A wit and your partner, uh, or a skill that I step love, and uh, it help your manage dangerous situation. It's also uh, occur when you do, do something a new exercise, and people have acute stress at one type of nor another. Is a uh, chronic stress. A chronic stress is this stress that lasts from a long period of time. A, you have chronic stress in, if you have money problem and unhappy memory and or two or trouble at work. A sin to of much stress. Uh, stress in your body, uh, your body reaction to stress by releasing hormones. And your problem uh, or different sickness in your most stress is high blood pressure, uh, hair disease, uh, diabetes, obesity, uh, depression, uh, skin problem in acne, a menstrual problem. Um, stress can case uh, or can cause uh, many types of physical or emotional symptoms. 
Uh, sometimes you have not really seen uh, their symptoms are caused by stress. Uh, other other symptoms is, is a headache, should, uh, tiredness, uh, stomach, uh, use use a uh, alcoholic is weight loss or, or gain. Um, it's a what is a oh no a different uh, situation for alleviate uh, the stress is a practice exercise, uh, listen to music, uh, or yo is a yoga. Um, it's a different. Um, I I would not. It come with a um, person. Uh, different uh, situations, uh, the stress is a work, is a problem in in your in your house, uh, but it's a uh, only have life. Yeah, I enjoy uh, our life. Okay, very Only good. <laughs> nice, good tips. So, anybody has a question for uh, Susana Beatriz? No questions. Uh, what do you do <laughs> to relieve stress? I have a question. Go ahead, Maria. Mm, if I decide making exercise, how much? Time near uh, for see a uh, change in the stress because uh, it's a relaxing, it's a different uh, routine, uh, it's a it's a health in a exercise exercise come on exercise exercise <laughs> exercise exercise mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe I, I believe that is my opinion. Maybe experts they can think about that in a different way. I believe that that depends on you. For some people, for example, myself, when I go to the gym and I do some exercise, 20 minutes is good, good enough. You know, for some other people, maybe two hours. So mm -hmm. I guess that depends on you, depends on what you want to achieve. Because some people, they go to the gym just to, to relax, right? To to get a rid from the stress. Some other people, they go because they want to, to look very nice. And I mean, you need to invest a lot of time for that one, right? So that depends on many things. But I believe that a little exercise that you do every day is good for you, right? Good, good. Uh, I was, go, go ahead, I'm sorry, Maria. No, only want to say is a um, good topic. I like it. Very good, yeah, and it's very important because sometimes, and that happens to me, sometimes we focus on the job, on the family, on a lot of duties that you have to do, and you forget about yourself. But you are important as well. You need to do something for you, right? For example, Anna Selmi was saying, I mean, she was very busy. She does a lot of things, but she goes running. She not only runs, but also thinks she relaxes. She uh, meditates about things in life. So it's a very complete thing. Right? So that is a very good thing. So, yeah, I, I truly believe that exercise is, is important. You are healthier, not only in your mind, but also in your, in your body. And stress is something that we need to be careful of. Another thing that I have noticed is that you believe that you are not stressed, but you are stressed, right? Sometimes you don't know, you continue, you go and work here, do that, do the other thing, and then you're sick, and then something happens to you. So we need to sometimes stop, right? Stop and think about you and yourself. I know that, I mean, family is there and you need to, give and do things for them but you need at least a, an afternoon a week just for you right let's say sunday afternoon 
I won't cook, I won't clean, I won't do anything. I will do what I want. So it could be watch a movie, video games, it could be uh, gardening is a very good thing. I mean, plant flowers and watch them, exercising. There are many things that you can do, but we need, we need to, to do something like that because stress is always there, right? It's always there. And yeah, scientists, they say that a little stress is good. It's good for your health, but not that much. Good topic. Thank you, Susan. All right. Uh, who's next? I guess I have to choose this time. Uh, Silvia Suleyma. Okay, teacher. Um, the topic is the uh, one more name. Okay. <clears throat> uh, the, the topic is the mental health. Mental health include our emotional. Uh, psychological and social well-being. It affects the way we think, feel, and act we, when we face life. It also helps determine, uh, determ determine how we handle the stress, relate to others, and make decisions. Mental health is important at all stages of life from childhood and adolescence to adulthood and old age. Mm. Uh, in, in, for example, in my case, um, uh, excuse me, it, the mental health is important because it can affect your physical health. For example, mental disorders can increase your risk of physical health problems, such as stroke, type uh, 2 diabetes, and heart disease. For example, in my case, I, I consider when I was a child, uh, my grandmother, my sister, and me uh, visit uh, the... the the Tasomal in Chalchuapa. And with my my sister, uh, we had a competition competition to see who could jump uh, all the steps uh for uh, um para llegar a la cima. And this moment uh, in in this in this moment for me are the was a, was the the health the mental health for me because when i i have a a a, a i can say the same <laughs> um, yes yeah yes uh -huh. when i have eight years um my child my my childhood uh, change changes uh, and before uh, when, with my sister uh, um both had a mental health very well because we we are we were um, together only teacher okay very good thank you anybody has a question for Sylvia Suleyma okay uh, so yeah this is also very important I mean it's linked to the stress of course mental health um the problem here is that sometimes 
other people cause damage to us, right? And we don't know, or uh, we just pass it through. So we need to to be careful on that one because we know that we are all different, different people, individuals, but everybody needs respect. So it doesn't matter what happens. If you feel that something is not going well, you need to do something about that. We need to be in peace. Love is important, but also peace is important. So Teacher, if, yeah. I um, remember in my job, um, we go to the you know, training for mindfulness and related with the healthy uh, for your for your mind yes mind um, because in this time uh, we uh, stay in here in front of uh, the computer uh, the cell phone in class English but the problem is the people don't stay in here and now. The people uh, thinking in the diner and the work tomorrow and the family, but staying here and now is a difficult for many people. In this mindfulness, uh, the objective is you take um, two minutes or one, just one or two minutes only for take a rest and I don't know how do you say it? Breath. 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 And breath. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's related with, with this. That is true. I mean, a little moment. I mean, sometimes, for example, when you have a task that you have to do and it's very difficult and you don't find a solution, sometimes you need to stop. Go for a walk, go for a coffee, or anything that you want to eat or drink. And when you come back, sometimes you are focused and you find the answers. That happens sometimes. So, and uh, yeah, we need to be careful about that one because uh, in my sometimes we can feel the stress in the body. It's more difficult to realize that you uh, feel stress in your mind, that you are not healthy in your mind. So, it's something very difficult. Very good. Uh, who wants to be the next one? Okay, let's check. Um, Mario Villeda, did you do the homework? Not possible. Alejandra Michelle. Not possible. Susana Hernandez. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, I was wondering if you did the presentation for today for the homework. I guess not. Okay. Uh, Maria Elena. Yes. Good. No. Well, I tried. Um, Okay. You can see the full screen. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I am um, presentation about the self defense and technique. Uh, that don't be a victim anymore. <laughs> uh, all the people <laughs> we need learn the basic of self-defense 
and it's not important you are a child, a woman, a man, a old man, or a old woman. Uh, you need uh, know how you can do and a moment that your life is in danger. And for this, you need identif identify dangerous or situations. Uh, be aware of your surrounding. Uh, we need pay attention to the people around you and any unusual behavior or movement. Uh, trust your God if something feel off is probably is just your in, instinct and take a, a precautions and use your voice is the more important and sometimes the attackant uh, don't believe you um, are screen 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 is Yes, a screen, and um, it's important. Uh, uh, can, you can say no, help, or anything for attention to other people. Um, get yourself of, out of danger. If possible, remove yourself from the dangerous uh, situation or find a public area uh, with other people around. Uh, don't he say or call for help if necessary. Is block ah block incoming strike. Use your forums, uh, airbox or legs to block incoming streak, uh, keeping um, your core tight and balance. All the people take a, a point of balance is in the, I don't know, how do you say it? <laughs> uh, that is the belly button. Belly button is your um, equilibrium point. I, I believe okay. equilibrium yeah. point. Okay. When you down, your point, uh, you take more stability and can uh, respond. For this, uh, when the boxing, the people boxing or karate or judo, all the people in this sport down your point and you need the pants, um, your neck and your head help. Uh, using uh, or or hands to cover uh, the head or neck, uh, moving your doors away from the aperture's uh, reach, um, evade and counter, uh, dodge uh, or move out of the way of the attack, uh, then quick strike, uh, black with a punch. Now, kick or knee or knee to a vulnerability are such or growing and no noise ace uh, is a point. Um, this is uh, more difficult <laughs> in online in line in, in line, but it, Mm, the point is, you if you take a your attackant uh, touch, you need move with rot move from escape the attackant. Uh, is the basic from uh, wherever situation you need rot, but the uh, get up. The other count. Uh, the kick is easy 
No, no is too easy. And I want by these points <laughs> because um, and I, in 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 moments you take a case uh, sometimes in the cars and if you want uh, using from um, <laughs> from um, a weapon you don't take uh, the the case in this position you need to take the uh, the case in this position because you take uh, the point the case and you can use him for the weapon if necessary <laughs> uh, other uh, uh, defense weapon uh, you can take is a pen you can uh, in your hair and it was is necessary you take your pen and you can use it but you don't use it with the <laughs> they uh, you using this form with the point uh up front and you point your pit no <laughs> so where, how is the name uh lace a thumb lace a thumb and the part of the bottom and the pen and the point point uh, can uh, yeah, tracker. Um, an umbrella, I don't have an umbrella in this moment, <laughs> but it's more easy. Um, uh, water bottle. Um, uh, in this time is common. The woman, a man, take a bottle. A bottle. Uh, the point is, in this form, you can take a a kit. But in this form, you can You can hit yourself. You can hit yourself. Uh, you can go in this form because if necessary, you touch to the attacker or can use it. In this form, no, no. No can use for a weapon, but in this form you can use for a weapon. Ah, <laughs> uh, only finish. <laughs> okay, very good, interesting. Oh. <laughs> Anybody has a question for Maria Elena? Questions. Okay, uh, do you practice this, Maria Elena? Have you ever <laughs> done something like that? Uh, in the real life, yeah, uh, yes, 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 really. But, uh, when I'm more younger <laughs> and <laughs> it is it, working, is is still funcional. It works, it works, uh, no, but the more important is I I write the more important is that all the remember. Uh, the best defense is no attack. Mm, the best defense is engaged in a fight. Okay. Very good, and very interesting. Where, where in other words, you can run away. Yeah. <laughs> dangerous is the best. Always, <laughs> always the best. Yeah, if you fight, sometimes things can be even worse, right? So, and uh, yeah, you know, I, I, I was remembering right now, uh, I was, uh, when I was at the university, we used to have a, a, a classmate there that she was a winner of championship in karate. You know? She was very good. She was very tall and she was very good. Uh, once she said that she was on the bus and an assaultant came and said, give me your cell phone. And she was like, okay, here's my cell phone. And we all would say, why you didn't kick that man or do something? And she said, I don't know. I got frozen. I don't know what to do. So sometimes that happens. Sometimes, I mean, yeah. maybe, maybe you can fight, but I mean, you don't expect that a person comes and try to attack you, right? You are doing your life. 
you don't know what is going to be there. The reaction the is no more important that you like. Yeah, that is true. I mean, uh, we just to just to bother her because of that one only. But we know that that is. I mean, I, I have been assaulted, and I mean, I give the things here. They are goodbye, right? So what can I do? <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, it, it, the opposite happens as well. Sometimes I have seen that that, for example, a woman sometimes she was getting assault. And she got angry. No, I don't want to give you. And she started to hit the, <laughs> the person. Uh, really. <laughs> and Yay, then they... happens to me. <laughs> what happened? Crazy. Tell us. <laughs> it happens to me. Oh, many years ago, when I when I went to the university at six a.m. around six a.m., I walked through the through the bus stop, and. I I I was alone for the for the how do you say pasillo? I don't know. For the whole the street. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I was alone and I I watch a man comes against me. Okay. And then my my eyes uh, look back and he was uh, he come back. And he he doesn't have nothing, a knife, nothing. Uh, he only tell me, give me your watch. What? <laughs> what do you say? And he, uh, how do you say arrancar? He, he put it out. Yeah, he put it out. And the watch uh, was uh, in the air, uh, blowing in the air. And I, I, I have my back long mean my launch back and I I how do you say I oh my god I me la quite I don't know how can I say I took it off. Yeah I took it off and I I hit <laughs> the face of the man. <laughs> I hit the face and he uh wrong. <laughs> he runs. In my so and then I and then I I looking for my watch and <laughs> oh here I took him I went to go away from oh. that moment I I tell to my boyfriend in that year and he told me okay I'm going to buy you a paper gas and I have a paper gas <laughs> in my very good. <laughs> So uh, yeah, I mean, that's what I'm telling you. I mean, I believe that in the moment you you didn't think he's dangerous or anything like that. You say what? Are, you were angry, yeah. and that's it, right? <laughs> okay, yeah, that that happens. That happens. So we we never know. Uh, might be dangerous, but in the moment we don't think about it, right? I was afraid because I didn't see a knife, nothing. Only he. Oh, give me your phone. What? <laughs> That's the reason because I was brave. In another case, is if I see a knife or a gun, oh my God, I don't know. Okay. Take <laughs> that is true. And the good thing is that sometimes in this kind of situation, since that is very fast, people don't react. They don't analyze, right? Because, I mean, maybe he didn't have anything. I believe that this was not the first time that he did that one. I mean, he was looking for women that were pro probably walking along. Maybe in the other times he was successful. I mean, women were like scared. I mean, and they didn't think about that one, right? But you had the time to analyze. He doesn't have anything. Why? No, I'm not going to give you anything, right? So that was a good thing. So, yeah, we react in different ways. So that happens. Uh, these are very good examples because sometimes... It's not a robbery. Sometimes somebody really wants to hurt you. Uh, so in that situation, I mean, yeah, the, the first thing that maybe we think about to do in this situation is to run, to escape. But if you can't, because of many reasons, you need to analyze, try to fight, right? Try to look for escape, but sometimes it's not that easy. You need to do something against with the other person and then run. Right? So uh, that's why... These kind of tips sometimes are very useful because you don't know. You don't know what to do in these kind of situations. And sometimes, I mean, it's not just robbery. 
they want to really hurt you. So we need to be careful on those things. Good. In as a teacher, I remember um at college when we uh talking about this thing, this topic, um she always say uh, if um ask a, a, a man uh, say me, give me a phone. I am yes, take a phone, go away, uh, take a good day. But it is expectation. <laughs> the reality uh, is a, a woman, a little woman like a me, like me. And she uh, screams, she um, uh, uh, um, uh, Give whatever go with the uh, the the fight and win. <laughs> and the the man had grown uh, because she uh, um keep 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 uh, many. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that happens. Yeah, I mean, we never know. We never know. And we don't know how to react. Sometimes we are calm down. Sometimes we, we're angry. It, that is the same, for example, in situations like when you're driving, right? Sometimes people are getting crazy and you say, go, go for it. Goodbye. And sometimes we say, no, you're not going to pass me through. So we act in different ways, sometimes in the same situation. So depending on your day, depending on many things, we can react in many different ways. Okay. Uh, and it's, a, I mean, it's a very good idea. To, to think about it. Very good that nowadays the country is safer, right? So, uh, I mean, in the past, you couldn't do or couldn't see that people do some things. But now sometimes, I, I remember that like two weeks ago, I was in a bus and there were people on the cell phone or in, with tablets on the, on the bus. I mean, three years ago, four years ago, that was possible, right? You were like, expecting you were looking to uh, everybody that were into the bus and you were analyzing like uh, something's going on here i'm going to get down so yeah, yeah situations that change very good perfect anybody else is missing for the presentation nobody else is. very good perfect very nice presentation you see sometimes we can learn from each other. That is amazing, right? And that's why I really like to, to be here with you because I learn also. I mean, sometimes you bring some words that I, don't, I say, I never heard that word. Or we discuss about topics that are very interesting. So uh, that's why every Friday we try to do some things like that. A practice that also help us to communicate. We sometimes have very good ideas in our minds. The only thing that we need to do is to communicate. And, of course, practice the English part. So that will be it. Okay, we have a few more minutes. So, uh, free practice. Uh -huh. I have a question for everybody. Let's see what happens. Um, are you guys happy? With you, with your lives? Are you happy? What do you think? Sometimes, teacher. Sorry? Sometimes. That is a very good and accepting uh, answer. I mean, you cannot be happy all the time. Sometimes there are some difficulties, problems, situations. Uh, but let's say that in general, that is a very good question that sometimes you need to ask yourself. Am I happy with my job, with, uh, I don't know, the way that I do things? Do I need to change something? So what do you think? Do you think that you, in general, not all the time, but in general, are you happy? Or do you think that you need to change some things in your life? Really, teacher, um, I believe that the life is a combination of different emotions that it's not possible that the whole time uh, I feel the emotion, the happy, the happiness, happiness, yes. 
Um, in in I like the movie the I don't know I don't know what is the name in English, but in Spanish intensely. Okay. The in the in the first part of the movie, eh, the main emotion was the hap the happiness. But the people near the combination of the the emotion, the angry, the sad. There are moments specific. Uh, you feel frustrated. It's necessary because you need to learn about the experiences for, for to improve, to improve. But um, in my opinion, the the happiness is related to the thankfully, thankfully, in everything. Including, including the the experiences sad. Um, for example, in my case, in in that moment recently, I lost my mom. But I know that she is in the best place. And it's comfortable for me to think that. But frequently, I cry. I am crying. I, I, I feel sad. But it's part of the life, teacher. It's part. It, uh, I believe that depends on how, how you manage your life. That's it, teacher. Okay, perfect. Thank you for your... Uh... For your words, uh, you are so right. I totally agree on what you say. I mean, um, it's not possible to be happy all the time, but if that were possible, I believe that it's not a good life. You need, you need good and bad things. I mean, it's like when you are sick. Sometimes, I mean, you are healthy and you don't give importance to that little fact that you you are fine. But when you're sick, then you say, "Oh, I was healthy. I didn't, I, I didn't valorate that part, right?" So the same happens with this one. We need sadness. We need uh, to be angry sometimes and express that angerness. Sometimes we need um, different parts uh, of sentiment to feel. And sometimes, I mean, uh, maybe everything is fine with your life, and even though you are sad. Right, I believe that everybody we have that part of chemistry in our body. That I mean, you have everything that you want, but anyways, you feel sad. Yeah. But it is not. It is not bad, right? Huh? Part of that is the the emotional intelligence teacher, because it's important how you what what is your re reaction about the specific situation. What is your reaction? Because now is the research, research, uh, according to the research, the illness is rela directly re related to with the emotions. The illness, the, the chronic illness, Cancer, the related to the how you manage your emotions. In my yeah. opinion, teachers, the the, the edu education educational system is right. Yeah, the educational system must include uh, since the first grade the subject of the emo the in emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence and finance it is yeah. in the, the two the two subjects. But in the old system in the old grades, because in general 
it's a big problem because we are adults and we need to improve a lot of related to the emotions. Very true. You are so right. So emotions is a very important part of life. I was also remembering that we been discussing about artificial intelligence, right? Yeah, they will be able to do a lot of jobs and do a lot of things, but they will never have emotions, right? Even if you train, it's just an algorithm. It's not the same. So that's what makes us different from any anything else. Uh, that's what makes us special. The way that we feel good things and bad things, right? And how we can overcome. Sometimes, Sometimes we need to enjoy the pain, right? You feel something and you need to leave that part and go through that so everything goes well. It's necessary. So, very good. So, somebody was going to say something else. Yes, uh, I did. Okay. I don't believe and the, the majority of people or the old people, maybe, Always uh, stay in church and of the happiness. Always, and um, and I am um, thinking. I have uh, two hands, my eyes, legs. Um, with uh, some little problems, but legs, <laughs> and then carry me back and hold. And um, a mind, a, a little agile, agile uh, for learning every day something new. Um, um, and above all, people to love and people to love me and I am um, remember uh, um, um, one time I am um, see no hear hear I am listen listener um, a man uh, the man is um, I don't know who who is the work but uh, he can see. Um, he's blind. Uh, he, he is blind. Uh, he can see. And he say uh, things that for that that he per, perhaps that he appreciate and her life and he is. Her say, her, he say, <laughs> um, in the morning, the world, uh, in her body, uh, say, the um, smell the coffee in the morning, and yeah, I, the list is a big list, but I am believe that sometimes uh we don't take gratitude for the things that uh, 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 we don't um, take gratitude for our life because you sometimes we see other people uh, and say I take a uh, this card but we take maybe a bus <laughs> and a happiness in other way, but you can see other other things and you know, not take gratitude. Okay, that yeah. is true. Yeah, we need to be uh, thankful for everything that we have, right? Yeah, I mean, we're here and uh, there are many problems with the world and economic things, but we're here. We continue and uh, we need to enjoy life because someday it's going to finish, right? So very good. Uh, perfect, my friends. This was an amazing class. Very good. 
So we're gonna check about the platform. Remember the ones that still haven't finished the platform, uh, unit two and uh, midterm terms, we need to finish that one. So, and we're gonna check about the attendance, of course. Ada Patricia Linares Galdamez. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Good. Alejandra Michelle Wesson Najera. Present, teacher. Good. Ana Selmi Chavez. Present, teacher. Good. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present, teacher. Good. Maybe Coromoto García de Calderón. Manuel Antonio Palma. María Elena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. Present. Good. Mario Ernesto Villeda. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present. Good. Silvia Suleima Rodríguez Present. de González. Ah, okay. Present. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Good. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present teacher. Good. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta Ochoa. Present. Good. Okay, my friends, it was amazing to be here with you tonight. I hope you have a very good night. Rest very well. Have a nice weekend and see you on Monday. See you Monday. Good See you Monday. Good night. Good night. Have a weekend. Happy weekend. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. I am staying. Finish the platform in this moment. <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> good night. Good night.